Welcome back to Teach Me Money Methods. In this video, I'm going to be doing just an overall how to use Rank IQ a video. I've done a series of videos. We've gone over the pricing, the different features, uh, specifically using the keyword research functions. I really wanted to get some good uh, videos out to you guys regarding this software. It is usually ranked number one on G2, one of the largest software marketplaces uh, on the internet. Uh, so this one really holds its own and often is ranked um, above uh, Ahrefs, SEMrush, uh, SE ranking, all those really big tools that have millions of dollars of, of backing and funding to fund them. But Rank IQ uh, really is attractive to new bloggers and bloggers that just don't want to dive into really technical aspects of SEO and they just want a software that can help them create good content. And that is where Rank IQ comes in. So once you log into Rank IQ, right, I will leave a link below. You can go check it out and sign up. Uh, you can start off with a $49 a month and that's actually 50% um, off if you click the link below. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and dive in real quick so how um, I would use this if I just a simple explanation on how to use this you're going to have all kinds of different things that you can do you can actually check your rankings in here um, if you connect your Google search console account to rank IQ then uh, you'll be able to quickly and easily look at your rankings and what articles are performing good for you on your website which ones are falling off things like that um, it kind of takes all the data that is kind of confusing to look at if you don't know what you're uh, looking for, uh, it kind of takes it and creates um, its own reports for you. I do have a video on that already, um, so you can go check out the other videos that I have. But in this case, we're going to jump in and we're going to just right away, you're going to want to make your way over to the keyword library section, right? Once you're on the keyword library, you can scroll down here and you can see that there's 8,426 pages. Um, Okay, so I just counted. There's 50 words on each page, 50 keywords. So if I actually took uh, 50 and I multiply that by 8, 4, 2, 6. So we're looking at, they have 421,000 keywords in here that are sifted through their unique algorithm, right? And they actually hand pick these and they go through an algorithm and then they actually manually look at all these keywords. So they've built up this database of keywords that um, you know, what's really cool is some of these keywords, if you look them up in Ahrefs or something like that, it would actually tell you not to go for these keywords, but this software takes the keyword research to another level and it actually will go and see if, you know, like Quora is ranking, Pinterest is ranking, Facebook's ranking, um, some low quality sites are ranking for the keyword. Even if it has a high domain authority, it doesn't mean that you can't actually, uh, compete with that. So you'd be missing out on a lot of keywords if you just go with the standard um, way of doing keyword research. And so that's what makes the keyword keywords inside of Rank IQ so unique, okay? So the next thing you do is you're just gonna come over here to the niche selection tool. And we're gonna scroll through here, okay? We're gonna find something that uh, stands out. Obviously, if you're in the niche, then you're gonna find uh, shop for your niche. And in this case, let's just pretend that we're in the journaling niche right here. So I'm going to select that. Okay. So then you'll see all these keywords update right here. I like to go and see what kind of we're, uh, keywords we're looking for, um, working with, right? So we're looking at one, two, we're looking at about 250 keywords. If you're going to start a blog in this niche, you would already have your first 250 articles, um, researched your, you could just literally start writing on all these keywords right here. That's what makes it so cool. Um, another thing that I like to do is I like to go to the top under competition and um, I'll click this, especially for a newer site, and then I'll double click it, right? So then now we're looking at the lowest competition keywords that we can go through and just, I would start from that and just start moving down the list. Next, what we would do is once we find a keyword that we want to go with, let's say we want to go with this one right here, bullet journal mental health spreads, right? Now, obviously it's going to be a green button like this. We're going to push the button and it's going to start running a report 
and it's going to take uh, anywhere from about 30 seconds to about maybe two minutes and then it will be done and then once we're done with that right um, it's going to actually pop open the report since i've already ran this report i'm going to show you where we can actually go and get this report because we have a check mark right here we can't run the report again we already ran the report so that's cool it won't let you waste your credits and duplicate um, you know what you've already pulled which is good so we can come back up over here now we can go over to our reports um, and then I'm going to come down here and you can see right here, here's our keyword. And now we can go and check out the report. And then I'm going to go check out the report real fast. And it's going to say that we need A++ content. Now I'm seeing this more and more. Um, it's just really, it's needing really good content, um, which kind of makes sense, right? It needs a well-rounded uh, what is going to make this be like a B or an A plus? Well, it's going to be how many uh, scoring topics there are. These are all the different topics in the top 30 search results. OK, so if we take this keyword right here and I'll show you, kind of explain to you what the system's doing. If we go to Google, and we type that in and we push enter. Here are all the results, right? Um, for that keyword. And you're going to see all these different results right here, you know, 10 on the first page and we're going to go and scroll through here and then we're going to go to the next page and then there's 10 more right and then the next page so then there's 10 more so every single one of these look they're all specifically talking about this it's going to take every single one of these it's going to go to it and do uh, analysis and when it comes back it's going to tell us on average for those 30 top rankings we need a 2156 word article that we need to write um, in this case sometimes usually it, it, it uh, analyzes 30 pieces of content but um, in this case it could be a number of different things it might have it's going to skip the youtube results and things like that and so that's why it analyzed 26 right here it's going to try to analyze 30 but sometimes it's not able to and so right here we have 26 and then the a plus and so that's going to be where all this stuff comes in if you're going to write an article on this you're going to really you're definitely going to want to talk about a mood tracker bullet journaling because this is a bullet journal right so it's going to be very heavy on bullet type journaling so you're going to want to mention that habit tracker a great way so obviously great way is not probably not going to be an h2 so you have to use this is where you're going to use your brain and you're going to decide which ones which topics are going to actually be h2 tags in your article and uh, which are just going to be like you might want to mention great way you might say gr a great way to use this bullet um, habit tracker right you could actually tackle a couple of these in one h2 something like that but as long as you're uh, tackling all these right so it gives you all the different topics that we it's kind of like a, a data dump um, of information that's very useful to us we can use all this right um, we can click this button to see even more now it's going to go and analyze the titles this is going to help us don't go copy this title make your own title but you could do what I recommend is doing like maybe right here 11 ways to bullet journal to benefit your mental health um, you could do uh, you want to change something about this you don't want to copy any of them word for word there's a couple different strategies you can go with one over here you can go with one of these and then change it up a little bit um, or you can actually go with the keyword that you have up here uh, bullet journal mental health spreads you can make sure you have that in your title as well that's the way I like to do it um, but Google is becoming smart and you don't have to actually have the exact title to end up ranking for that keyword. So um, we're going to keep scrolling through here. Then you have your com competition analysis. It's going to be the top three right here. So the ranks are number one, 4,300 words and then almost a 3,000 and then a, under 2,000 is ranking for um, ranking number two, right? So all in all, with all the results considered, it's telling us that it wants us to start off with 2100 words and then I would wait right write this wait eight weeks and see where you end up if you're really solid on page two you can come back to this and you can actually add another thousand words right um, you want to do like a minimal um, viable product and what that means is is you want to um, see how f how high you can rank for the minimal amount of effort that that doesn't mean low quality content it just means you don't want to go out writing 4,000 words on every single blog post 
when if you could rank in the top five with a 2000 word blog post, then so be it, right? That would be way better use of your time. You can get two or three more articles done in that time that it takes you to write a 4000 word post. So um, you want to kind of see where you set, see where you rank, where your website, if Google's going to rank your website for that keyword anyways. Um, and then you can come back and add more content if necessary later on down the road. That's at least a quick tip um, for what I do. Next, what do you do? Well, you can do two things from here. You can download this report and then it's going to take you, it's going to be an Excel file. You can send to your writer after you hire them and you're going to be able to um, tell them exactly what you um, what the the outline is for the article right include all these uh, keywords in here it, and it just already did all the it's like a content brief it told it's going to tell them specifically what to do but here's the thing it's not going to overwhelm them it's not going to be too much a lot of these seo tools uh, and i have a lot of them they're great and all but one thing that i don't like is their content briefs are just they're just so confusing they're very intimidating and when you send that to a writer they're going to, I mean, it, it's going to, um, they're going to have a hard time using some of those content briefs that are created in some of the other tools. And I like that rank IQ is just super simple. It's very straightforward. Okay. And uh, it's going to speed up your workflow and process. Um, whether you're writing or hiring writers, it's going to speed up. You're going to get a lot more content actually written, um, using this tool. The next thing is you can go into the content content optimizer. You can actually write your article in here or write it in Google Docs. When you feel like you're really good, then you can move it over into here um, and then start optimizing it from there. There's a lot of different ways you can do it or you can just start writing in here. It's going to save automatically every once in a while or just save every once in a while. Right. The way the, the cool thing about writing inside of here is you could do some research. If you have two screens, this works really well. You can um, on the next screen. Um, maybe to your right or your left can be your research screen. You can have Google pulled up. You can do some research and things, and then you can come over here and actually start uh, writing, right? So you'd come in here and let's say we have a title for fun. Maybe we'll fix this title up later, but let's just say that this is the title and go with that an H1 there. Then I'm going to push return twice. And then we're going to say um, mood tracker. And then once we put mood tracker on here, you can see that it turns green. And then let's say we make this a H2. And then we, let's just say we start writing in here. If you are bullet journaling and look how bullet journaling now, um, bullet journal journaling as a way of uh, doing a habit tracker then you know this is a great way to increase your efficiency and i don't know anything what i'm talking about i just showing you how this works your efficiency um, in your daily routine something like that okay so we we put um, a bunch of these in just one sentence, a title and a, an H2. We've already tackled a bunch of this stuff. We're, we're optimizing our article, but we are writing our article with our own words. We're not using AI or anything like that. And we are going to get the job done like that, right? And if you start using this tool and then you have a research screen, you'll be able to pump out a 2000 word article in a couple of hours. And you'll be able to get more done with this tool. So this is how you use it. Then you just push save draft. You can see uh, the grade's going to start going up as you use these. I like to say show unused and then it's going to automatically prioritize the most important ones. Look at this washi tape up here. It's going to be the first one up here, right? So really cool. And then you just keep going, going, going until you're satisfied with your score and you've met the word count. That's how you use it. Rank IQ is super, super easy to use. Again, there's a link below. You can go pick this up for $49. You get 16 uh, documents, 16 articles that you can uh, get the full report and the optimization tool. And you can increase that uh, $100 a month. I think you get double that. So over 30. So if you're going to do uh, one article uh, a month, I mean, sorry, one article a day, then you're going to want to increase to that $99 a month. Uh, level if you're like an agency and you need like up to 80 articles a month i think is about uh, 199 um, and then if you need to drop down to just eight 
per month in or like myself if you're using this primarily for a keyword research tool in a niche selection research tool then you can drop down to a $29 a month plan so click that link below go get rank iq this is my top recommended seo tool period out of any tool that i've used all right i hope you guys enjoyed this i'll see you in the next video